Online platforms uh, are useful for all of those reasons. The bottom one is the key one for education, but I think the top four apply to most of our users. Uh, the fourth one, so it's a little bit hard to word that digital culture, but people talk about uh, young people going through education today being digital natives rather than digital immigrants or digital migrants. Uh, they're very at home with technology. They don't, they don't see it as a, an extra step to use the technology. That's just the way they get through their business. And as I say, Moodle uh, is a, uh, an available internationally used and uh, constantly um, updated um, learning platform. That's what the college's Moodle looks like. I've just, I've just highlighted uh, an announcement because we do use it uh, as well as for learning. We use it for everything that, uh, the, the, that the student will encounter. I think Greta said earlier, when the student switches on the computer, this, this page opens up. They don't have to go anywhere to, to look for it. So certainly any announcements, uh, forthcoming events, news, um, student details will go there. What uh, was mentioned earlier was the student's individual learning plan is one element we've added to uh, the standard Moodle installation where tutors can set targets and agree goals with students and uh, follow up on disciplinaries or follow up on students' concerns or guide students as to their progress and uh, future progress. And that's all recorded uh, in our... Moodle installation so that students can get it anywhere they would access Moodle, which is anywhere on the internet, uh, so that staff can see it anywhere we access Moodle, which is everywhere, so that we can quality control uh, and, and check and manage that. Uh, learning resources and simulations and activities. Uh, this is obviously quite an elaborate one with controls that a student can um, operate a system. This is a central heating system, I think, or possibly a plumbing system. Um, some, some of the resources there are much more modest and straightforward because our lecturers put them up themselves. Moodle's a system whereby you replicate what you can do in class, you give your handouts <coughs> to students and you put them online so the students can access them there. Some of them are simple documents, some of them are activities, some of them are links to materials that can be found on the internet. <coughs> this is a transcript of an online activity that took place in a class where uh, the students were doing a role play of a call center operation where somebody was answering the phone and diagnosing um, sorry, uh, responding to a, a customer's problems and therefore diagnosing what the problem was and so on. And they did it online, uh, partly to have a record of it, so that then the lecturer can go back and use this and post this up in class. And the students have got a record of it for their own portfolio. And so that the learning continues. You know, the, 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 uh, we, we, can go, we can go back in and look at particular interactions and say, well, was this the right question to ask? Or was this the right approach to take? Uh, the learning in that... In that um, interaction was about how to problem solve with a customer. It wasn't about good use of English, because you can see that uh, a lot of the contributions there are in kind of text speak, but that wasn't the purpose of that session. You know, the idea was to use a medium whereby the students could um, simulate or role play the activity. Uh, one, a, a, a course area here can be as elaborate or as um, straightforward, as simple as the teacher can manage. Uh, so some teachers will have more or less skills with computers, with, with online environments, with web content. Uh, in this case, you know, a bit of color's been added, but it's not necessary for the content as such. It's whatever we can, uh, whatever's appropriate for that course and curriculum area. Uh, Moodle has online assessment uh, engines, uh, which we use. This one example here, is uh, a formal assessment that was issued by the certifying body for that course and we implemented it easily in Moodle because they use the interoperability standards to, 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 enable, us to, to, to enable it to be um, delivered through a virtual learning system <coughs> and so that, uh, we, we have uh, formal assessments through Moodle. But teachers can also put informal assessments up there. They can do it before and after at the start of a class. They can put in a little taster on, on a topic before. Uh, for students as homework or as preparation for class, and they can start with that on the board as a, as a, as a way of engaging the subjects and the learners. That is, again, uh, an instance of an individual learning plan for a student. Uh, there's, there's a lot of elements of this, and the one I've highlighted is targets, because this is a key interaction in tutorials, is agreeing targets or reviewing targets with students. But you may be able to see the tabs along the top. There's, a, there's, there's, there's details of the students' um, uh, attendance and punctuality, which is very important to, to us and indeed to them, their previous qualifications, their future plans, uh, their outside experiences, everything that would enable us to sit down with a student and um, engage uh, in terms of their learning journey and everything that would enable us to track that and go back over it. 
And that's a kind of a summary of some of what you've seen just in terms of what we use Moodle for. Uh, that's probably not an exhaustive list, but it does cover a lot of what we um, deliver to students. It's worth saying, though, it's not there in our conception to replace traditional teaching or face-to-face -face teaching. It's there to enhance it, to supplement it, to extend it. So although e-learning in some contexts is done at a distance by people only looking at a screen, uh, for the most part at the college, it's there as an additional tool to deliver quality learning using that medium to extend uh, and make more flexible the delivery that we have. 